go. He's trying to get burned up here. Anyway. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Maggie, also known as Mocha Latte, and happy summertime! I hope all of you have been enjoying your summer and enjoying the weather. I personally have been enjoying the air conditioning, knitting all the socks, watching all the shark movies and documentaries. So let's dive into today. You can find me on Instagram at mocha latte underscore as well as TikTok uh, where I share mostly um, yarny projects and just very random things. Um, I have quite a bit to share today. I have some finished socks, uh, lots of sock talk today. Um, I have a couple works in progress, just some fun summer projects that I am excited to share with you. Um, today, for my tea of choice, I am drinking um, cotton candy oolong tea um, from Happy Sweet Candy Shop. This is one of my favorite summer teas. Um, oolong tea is so... <laughs> oolong tea is so... Um, like, subtle, and I've really come to love it. And, I don't know, cotton candy reminds me of summertime, so I am enjoying this. Excuse me, sir. He just can't help himself. He just loves to be part of this. Huh, come here. Yeah, come join us. Just watch the tea, please. Watch it. I'm drinking my tea in this super cute shark mug. I just got this on Amazon and it is so adorable. I love it. A little fun fact about me is that I love sharks. I'll talk about uh, that more later. <laughs> Be careful, buddy. Also, if you are new here, this is my cat, Vash. Um, he is the sweetest boy, and he loves to hang out and be my videos. He always has to be my shadow, so he'll probably end up leaving. Anyways, let's talk um, finished objects. So I finished two pairs of socks for Summer Sock Camp. Um, I hope you have all been enjoying Summer Sock Camp. I know I have. I have just been going hog wild with all of the socks. Um, if you don't know what Summer Sock Camp is, please go follow the Crazy Sock Lady on YouTube and Instagram. She just hosts um, a sock knit along all summer long where you just knit socks and it's super fun. So let me show you my first pair. So uh, this yarn is called Enid Wolfed Out by Gypsy Soul Fibers. It is a sock set, so it comes with this beautiful pink, um, like rainbowy confetti type, and then it comes with the green uh, mini skein. Um, I love her yarn. It is so soft and so much fun, and you should go follow her on Instagram too because she's always so sweet. So yeah, definitely go check her out. So this is a first pair for a summer sock camp. Also today I'm wearing my summer sock camp shirt from 2021, which was the first year that I started summer sock camp. And I love it. I love this. I think this is my favorite logo since I've started. I just love it so much. All right, the first pair, next pair. If I can get them on the sock blockers. Okay, my watermelon socks, adorable. They are just perfect. The perfect summer sock. Um, this was Premier Fruits Sock Yarn. They have so many cute ones. Um, of course, I had to do watermelon for summer. Um, and it is an acrylic nylon blend, so it doesn't feel like super heavy, which is perfect for summertime. So I always wear, I've been wearing these um, to work and my sneakers and I love them. Yeah, so those are the first two finished pairs for Summer Sock Camp, moving right along. I also have um, two sock whips right now. Um, I have this first pair. Um, I'm so bad, I did not write the shop name down 
but I will link it below. But how cute is this little popsicle bag? So fun, so summery. Um, I did get it off an Etsy shop, so I will put that below. So I'm almost done with this first one. I just have to close the toe, whoops. Close the toe and then of course put the heel in, obviously a shorty sock. Um, this pink is called Some Like It Bright by Mama Jess Knits. And then I used this blue. Um, this was a Hobby Lobby colorway. I don't think it's, I think it's discontinued. Um, and they're authentic hand dyed, but I just liked those colors together. So almost done with the first one. And then I'll cast on the second one. Look how fun this yarn is. Oh, it's beautiful. So much fun. Also, I'm so excited because I finally got um, the infamous uh, a sock ruler from Twice Sheared Sheep, and it is a game changer. So it has um, all of like the shoe sizes on it. It has women's, men's, and then it has kids, like most of them. And so when you're knitting your sock, you can put it in like your heel to measure to your toe or vice versa, put it in your toe to measure your heel. For me, because I do an afterthought heel, I can just like figure out where I want to start, you know, where I want my heel to be, usually like somewhere about there. And then I can measure up to, you know, wherever. Whoops, wrong way. <laughs> I have to toe. <laughs> this way. Okay, so I'm going to measure and then put my markers where I want to cut in for my heel and that's it and I love it and it's like it's like one of those old school slap if you grew up in the 90s like I did those slap bracelets that we were all obsessed with um it just goes around your wrist but I like because it just folds up so I can just keep it in my bag I don't really wear it as a snap bracelet but super cute it comes in a whole bunch of different colors um I think she sells out quick so if this is something you're looking for definitely go check her out on Instagram uh that again that is twice sheared sheep I will link her below so that is the current sock whip. My next one is I am participating in my first sock week um, hosted by Knitting Addy, where it's just um, a knit along where you try to make one sock in a week. And I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to knit one sock in a week. Life is just too hectic and chaotic. but. So far, I must say, it's actually going pretty good. Um, I've had lots of time to knit. Um, so this is the yarn that I chose. This is pretty, this is just, to me, reminds me of like Shark Week themed summer ocean. Um, it is Opal. Um... Mm, I don't know what the colorway is because it's all in German. So I'm not quite sure <laughs> what the colorway is. But this is my progress so far. Um, I'm making a shorty sock. I always wanted to get opal yarn, but I just never bought it. Um, but I recently found a new yarn shop a little closer to where I live. And they had tons of opal. So I was like, oh, this is perfect for sock week. So I just love these blues and I just love the way you never know how it's going to work up. Even though it shows, um, like it shows you how the sock's going to work up, but it's still like, I don't know, it's just really fun uh, to use yarn like this. So I'm almost there. So I'll probably be getting close to uh, the toe and then I'll just go back and put my heel in. So she breaks it down which is really smart she for like the whole week she kind of gives you like a guideline like a breakdown for if you're doing cuff down or toe up so like the first day you cast on and do the cuff and then the second day you do the leg and the third day you work on the leg and then i think like the fourth day you do the heel if you were doing like a, a normal heel flap and gusset and you know just continues on and um so I think I'm making good progress. The only difference is I do an afterthought heel, so my days might be a little different, but I'm making good headway, I must say. So I'm super excited and I've just been enjoying it, taking it slow. I'm not like stressing about it. Um, I'm just enjoying the process and I just wanted to challenge myself because I thought it would be fun to see what I could do in a week. 
so that has been a lot of fun also i wanted to share this super cute um bag from uh zandy at polar bear yarns look how cute they're like little scuba diving cats i can't it's so adorable so you should definitely go check out her shop uh look at the inside too oh i love it it's just honestly this has been one of my favorite sock yarn bags because i love the strings and i just it's just made so well and I cannot wait to like buy all of her bags. I've been like trying to hold out because I don't want to go too crazy, but she keeps sharing all of like her new bags and I'm like, I need one of each please. But yes, please go check her out. She is always so sweet. Uh, I will link her below. Um, she is at Polar Bear Yarn at, on Instagram and I believe her website is also Polar Bear Yarn. So I hope that's right. Please, please go check her out. So that is all of my sock whips for the current moment. Um, next I have um, a couple works in progress that are not socks. Um, I bought some more sock yarn because I just can't, I can't help myself, but I would, would love to share those. And I have been doing some cross stitching, which is so much fun because I, um, I haven't done cross stitch in like a couple years like I used to do it so much and then I kind of just like forgot about it and I haven't picked it up and um I did buy a pattern like in the beginning of the year and I just like haven't worked on that one um my sister taught a cross stitch class that we did and I'll just I'll share more about that when I come to cross stitch so let me share my works in progress first I'm gonna take a sip of tea um, it is a beautiful day here today in Pennsylvania. It is just nice and sunny. We've had a ton of rain this summer, like so much rain, but honestly, I love it. I love a cozy rainy day. I think that's like every knitter's like just vibe. It is for me anyways, but it's nice and sunny. It's been warm. So I thoroughly enjoy summer, but I am a autumn girl at heart. I love fall. I love the cooler weather. I love the trees. I just love everything about it. I do love summer, but I do not love to be in the heat. Like you will find me in the air conditioning. <laughs> okay. So first I want to share this bag too. I've been like going bag crazy and buying all these bags, but how cute. Look at this. This is a little Zelda bag. This is made by my very, very dear friend, uh, Mallory. She was my, um, the same one that bought me that sock yarn um, that I shared about in my last video um, for being in her wedding. So what a great friend she is. Um, but yeah, so she makes these super cute, honestly, I think they're supposed to be like dice bags or trinket bags, but I can fit my small projects in here. And of course, I mean, it's Zelda, so I had to. Um, so you should go check out her um, Instagram. Uh, she, you can find her at the Crafty Tabaxi, and I will share that below. So in here, I decided I wanted to make um, like a summer sun hat. Um, I had, I got this um, peaches and cream cotton yarn. I feel like this is so good for summer projects because it's like, it's hardy, it's stiff. Like if you're looking for bags or hats, I feel like it's like perfect. I am not following a pattern for this, so I, I genuinely don't know how this is going to turn out. But this is what I have so far. I've started the top, and then I am kind of want it to be kind of like a bucket hat. I'm probably going to have to like block it and like flatten it out, but it's going to be like flat. And then I still, I made like a couple rows of like the brim, and then I'll make the, or I mean the side of that, and then I'll make like the brim. Um, I can't put it on because my hair is... A mess today but I'm hoping that it turns out the way I hope but I really like this color it's very summery um I did not keep the um the label for the peaches and cream but it's just like this pretty sandy color so I'm excited for that I've just kind of been working on it here and there I am making myself a sun hat and I said how I've just been hiding in the air conditioner <laughs> but whatever so yeah so super cute little bag super cute fun uh, summer project. Okay, my next one, I have been really enjoying this one. I think I've talked about this probably every single episode that I have made on here, but I'm going to bring it up again. 
So this right here, this is the Province Top um, by Nasha Crochets. And it is one, I made it last summer and it is my absolute favorite top. It's so, it's just like neutral and it literally goes with everything. And it's so, uh, I made it with cotton yarn. So um, it's like lightweight, um, but I'm just obsessed. So I decided I wanted to make another one for summer this year and but i wanted a different color so i finished the first um the back panel it's a little wrinkly but this is the color i chose oh my gosh i love it this is pretty emerald uh green i don't know if i still have a label oh i do so I used I Love This Cotton. Um, you can get it from Hobby Lobby. The color is bright green. <laughs> it is 100% cotton. So yeah, so I finished the back panel and honestly, it did not take me long at all. I've just been like slowly doing it. Um, so I finished the back panel and I started the front panel. I'm not super far but I cannot wait to wear this. I think it will look so cute with like some high-waisted jeans or shorts or like a flowy skirt. So I cannot wait to finish that. Um, I cannot recommend this pattern enough. The thing I will say is I had to, um, I had to figure out a lot of like my measurements, which isn't a bad idea because or a bad thing because obviously you want it to fit you, you know, the way it should. So like when I first did it, I had to f kind of figure out my measurements first so it was like trial and error. But then once I got it, I was able to just, like this one has been so nice because I made sure I wrote everything down on my pattern before I started. So yeah, I cannot recommend this pattern enough. I honestly will probably make like one or two more colors. I just, I love it. And it, I think it's just a perfect summer staple. So that's all of uh, my Yarny projects that I have going at the moment. Um, I think I will share the yarn that I bought. So I said earlier I found a yarn store. Um, it's not local, but it's kind of closer to me. Maybe like a 30, 40 minute drive. My husband and I, um, found it. And, um, so we went and the lady was so sweet. Um, it's called Delight Delightfully You, E-W-E. Whoa, buddy, be careful. Hey. Go trying to get burned up here anyway uh the yarn shop was called delightful delightfully you ewe -E. and it's just this teeny tiny little yarn store and i walked in and there was a group of ladies sitting like at a table knitting and then the owner came right up to me and she was so sweet and everybody was so kind and immediately of course i was like i'm here for the sock yarn so she had such a nice selection lots of brands I've never heard of before. Um, she had hand dyed and then she had like, you know, the opal and the regia. I don't know if that's how you say it, the regia. And um, I could literally spend hours in there. But so I got three skeins of sock yarn while I was there, which was the blue opal that I showed you. And then I got this one. I've never heard of this before. Uh, Scholar Stahl. I think this is also German. I've never um, heard of it, but I just thought this color was really fun and I'm really excited to see how it works up. Um, there's no color um, name, the, the color number is just 133. So I'm excited. I might use this to make a pair of gift socks for Christmas, we'll see. Um, and then I got another opal. I love this color. Um, I don't see a color on this one. I'm not sure about the color, but um, I just love all of these colors and I cannot wait to see how it works up. It shows you right there, but it's always still so much fun while you're knitting it. So I got those at the yarn store and I'm really excited to work with those. Um, and then the next one I ordered online um, off of... Um, the name is a teeny button studio this is her um legend of zelda tears of the kingdom colorway i could not resist um i have been playing um legend of zelda tears of the kingdom 
I have not played it probably within the last few weeks and I really, really need to get back into it. But anyways, this is the colorway and it is seriously perfect. It just, oh my God, it's so good. So if you are a Zelda fan and you like to knit socks and you love um, those, you know, like combinations, definitely check hers out. Again, that is Teeny Button Studios. I found her on Instagram. This is the first time I ever ordered from her. Um, so I cannot wait to make socks with these. I think they're gonna be so beautiful. So that is all the all of the yarn that I bought recently. Um, it's funny cause I shared like all of my sock yarn stash that I was gonna use for summer sock camp and I just continuously buy more. It's, I think it's an addiction, but there could be worse addiction. Um, okay, I guess I'll share my um, cross stitches. So my sister, she um, taught a cross stitch class a couple weeks ago and she picked the cutest little pattern for everybody to do. And so I finished my, I finished this like weeks and weeks ago, but it's so cute. It just says, but first coffee. I don't know if it will focus. There we go super super cute this was like super quick so i can't wait to hang this on my wall in here i have this one wall over here where i have like a lot of artwork um like cross stitches that i made and then i have some artwork from a friend um that i have it it's an incredible incredible um she's incredible at painting and drawing and all of that so my goal is to just fill this wall with just like oh my god i'm so sorry i'm so out of focus <laughs> My goal is to have this wall just full of art from whether it be myself or, you know, other people. That's my goal. So that is my first little cross stitch. It's super cute. Okay, this next one, I just bought this yesterday and I just went to town on it. So I will share the picture here of what the pattern is and then this is my progress so far. How cute is that with the little shark? So you know how I told you earlier that I love sharks. So summer has, well, when I was a kid, I loved to watch Shark Week. And then it wasn't too few, until a few years ago that I like fully emerged back into that like obsession. And now every summer I have to watch Shark Week. And even if you don't have cable, like if you have any of like the streaming apps, Disney Plus or HBO or definitely Discovery Plus, you can find all of like the shark documentaries on there too. So I have just been doing that and watching all of my favorite shark movies. And um, so yeah, I saw this cross stitch and I was like, I have to make this, it is so cute. So I've been enjoying that for my uh, summer shenanigans. <laughs> so those are the only cross stitches that I have. Um. I think next, I have not been reading very much. Actually, I haven't been reading at all. Um, I did start a book called The Forgotten Cottage and I enjoy it, but I've just been like kind of very slow with it. I just haven't been in the mood to read. Um, I'm about halfway through, but um, maybe I'll talk more about that when I actually finish the book. Um, I have been, my husband and I started watching Ted Lasso on Apple Plus and oh my God, that show, is just amazing it is so sweet and humble and um we've just been obsessed we are on season three and i'm sad because i don't want it to like end or i don't want it to be over um but yeah if you have not watched it i highly suggest watching it it's funny because i'm not like a sports person at all i don't follow sports i don't watch sports but um when we watched a trailer and i was like oh you know it's about a a guy who moves to England to teach a soccer team and I was like oh, I don't know but the characters are just oh my gosh and the storyline it's so good I highly highly suggest watching it um, aside from that just shark movies documentaries that's about it I feel like I just like was like blah, blah, here's what I'm doing blah, blah, blah. but I've been meaning to film a video because I don't think I filmed one since May and summer is just flying by um but i wanted to share my summer sock camp progress um if you are doing summer sock camp i hope you are having a great time with it i would love to hear as always what you're making um what your plans to make are what you're up to this summer um i would just love to hear 
Um, so thanks for stopping by as always and it was really great to chat with you and I hope you take care of yourself and I hope you enjoy your summer and I hope to see you guys soon. Take care. Bye!